In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Sweatcoin not counting steps. So if your Sweatcoin application is not counting step, here are some things that you guys can do in order to fix it. Number one is you want to make sure you have the most recent and up to date version of the application. It is really important. If you're on an Android device, please go ahead and open up the Google Play Store and look up Sweatcoin and make sure that it is fully updated. If you're on an iOS device, you want to go to the iOS app store and then you want to go ahead and look up Sweatcoin and make sure that it is 100% up to date. Next up, we're going to talk about phone placement. So ideally what you do is you place your phone in a pocket, for example, in a leg or a hoodie pocket while you're walking, jogging or running. So if you're doing something like holding the phone in your hand or wearing it on your arm, that may lead to inaccurate step detection due to the algorithm interpreting it as non-step movement. And another reason why is due to your device settings. So battery saving modes can interfere with background step tracking. So if you want to go ahead and make sure your device never does this so that it actually always counts how many steps you take, then all you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up your device settings just like so. Then go to the search bar and type in apps and just wait for it to load in. And by the way, you could also do this on an iOS device as well. Obviously the UI is gonna look slightly different, but the principle is still the same thing. And all you wanna do from here is you wanna go ahead and locate Sweatcoin. So please go ahead and find it. All right, so here it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press on it just like so. And while you're here, you wanna make sure that where it says remove permission if app is unused, go ahead and actually turn that off because you wanna make sure that it is able to use all your permissions. And while you're here, please go ahead and select on permissions and make sure that things like health connect and physical activity are actually allowed because Sweatcoin needs to have those permissions on your device in order for it to function properly. So guys, just keep that in mind before you start using Sweatcoin. Also guys, what you may need to do is you may need to uninstall conflicting applications. So other fitness or step tracking apps like Google Fit, uh, which is pre-installed uh, on many devices may interfere with Sweatcoin. So you may need to go ahead and uninstall unused fitness apps or disable their setting tracking features via the settings like I just showed you previously. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.